R.D. Williams and uh, my wife Crystal and daughter Ava and son Morgan farm here in Red Rock, Oklahoma. Marty first began to farm in 1997 while he was in high school. He graduated from Oklahoma State University trained as an agronomist. He also married Crystal that year. It was 2004. When I decided to come back, uh, I had learned some things in college that I wanted to adapt, a no-till, some variable rate stuff. So we went to a diversified uh, crop rotation system uh, where most of our ground had been in wheat only for, for years, uh, 100 years probably. And now we're raising corn, soybeans, uh, grain sorghum, oh, winter canola, uh, some barley, uh, but winter wheat and uh, grain sorghum are our two primary crops. MNC Farms is home to a growing commercial cattle operation. The cattle graze corn stalks and Milo Stover. The farm's goal with cattle is specific. A spring calf herd that calves usually from uh, February through April. Uh, we run mainly uh, black type Angus cattle. They're all commercial, nothing registered. Uh, we use black Angus bulls. Then we also, when we graze our, our stalks and our winter wheat, uh, we will run stalkers. Marty described the unique location of his farm outside Red Rock. He told us how his family arrived here four generations ago. Well, Red Rock is situated uh, in a transition zone between the western high plains, I guess you would say, and the prairie and the eastern woodlands. And uh, this was Indian, Indian territory. Through time, uh, it was opened up to white settlement and uh, the Mornhenwig side of my family settled here in the land run of 1893. And then on the Williams side of the family, um, the, the history is a little more vague to me, but we, they settled near Crescent, Oklahoma, and uh, we assume in the 1889 land run. And in 1921 or 23, uh, they found that land near Red Rock was, was fairly uh, inexpensive, and so they moved to Red Rock. The soils are not deep here in the grasslands, but by the late 1800s, farmers were routinely producing good wheat crops. Then came the Dust Bowl. Like I say, we live in an area where, where the soil isn't really deep. Uh, it was really good native grassland. And uh, at the time, the, the late 1800s, uh, it was very profitable to break the sod and raise wheat. Uh, the Dust Bowl hit pretty hard here. There wasn't the dust, but the, the economic times of that era really shut, I would say, shut down some of the production of the marginal ground. It's not easy to put a new farm together. At first, it was difficult for Marty to even find land. When I came back to farm and I was trying to rent land or buy land, it was really tough for me to find land in the area to rent. So I ended up taking a lot of non-desirable farms that people were, were abandoning or letting go. Then as people saw how I was farming those farms and taking care of it, all of a sudden it became opposite. I had people calling me, will you rent my land? There came a time when father and son had to manage their operations more independently of one another. They sat down and had a heart-to-heart -heart about their operations and their working future together. Uh, when I first came back to the farm, and uh, as I transitioned into farming more of my own, I was utilizing my father's equipment in exchange for me working on his farm. At one point we had a discussion and it was suggested that I should probably start investing in more equipment uh, myself, and it was obvious. It really is a, is a fun dynamic, like our big planter, he bought the planter, but I added all the no-till options to it. Marty's dad, Dennis, taught him important lessons about farm life, about the business of farming, and the value of good neighbors. The basic thing that I've learned from my father that has really stuck, uh, anybody can come out here and try to farm. Anybody can come out here and learn the agronomics, the economics of farming. But what takes time to learn and what, what's really important to me is the way that, that he has treated people, fair and honest, and the way that he has dealt with others. And uh, that really that really has cultivated in me a business sense and a, and a business uh, ethic of uh, that you, a lot of times your character speaks more about who you are and that's what I've taken from my father. He's, a, he's an honest man and a, uh, a man that is well respected in the community and uh, he puts his faith in his family first and that's what I've learned from him.